Ty Bartell with players of the match, Amber Watson and Skylar Schmidt as the Archbishop Open Knights 14-0 on the season following a straight set sweep of the Perry Panthers from Maslin. And both of you guys were really working on offense tonight and it was clicking once again. But the one thing I was really impressed with, and this is a question to both of you, those first two sets, you guys started off down, and you guys have done that a lot in sets this year, but battled your way back into two set victories. What is kind of the key, starting off down in sets, to get back in front and find yourself on the winning end of sets when you start off down so much? Um, we definitely talk about, like, in timeouts, um, building the momentum, because we kind of started off a little bit slow today, and we said, all right, we got to come out with that intensity, we got to come out with that momentum. And we put that in, and I think we just got more back We got started hitting well, and hitting it's also a lot about like putting our trust in our team because sometimes we struggle with that, but we always, if we put our trust in our team, we can do anything, as you can see. How much does the effort play a role in your guys' defense this year? Because, I mean, I'm really impressed with your defense, but I feel like the effort is half of the battle in that. What do you guys have to say about your defensive success this season with this team, and how much does effort play a role in that? I think we put a, like, a lot of um, focus on our defense first because we have to get past it. So uh, we emphasize that in practice, and I think like we work really hard about putting our body on the floor if the ball is going off and doing our best to get ready. Just like what Amber said, like the drills we do in practice really help us to focus on that defense. Even if you don't play defense, he still has had to has to play defense so that you can work on your defense because everyone needs to be able to play every single spot. And like she said, defense is one of the key components to putting your setter and your hitter in the right spot. How much focus does Coach Maloof put on the roles in the team too and how you guys have to, I guess, expand and make the most of those roles? Is there a lot of focus on that with this team? I think we just, he really emphasizes that we have to focus on what we can do, like the hitters hit their shots, the defense and set, stuff like that, that we have our jobs to do pretty well. And he also has a, like, a very high standard for us, which is very good because he sees the potential in us and it's like showing through our play. And by having that high standard, it just makes us twice as good. You talk about that high standard too, and I mean, winning can become contagious, but it, it can also feel like it, it can become easy at times too. So yes. when you guys compile these type of wins, how do you kind of keep that competitive mindset and not fall into a, a dangerous way of being complacent maybe going into games? We, we really like work towards our goal because our goal this year is to win a state championship. So if we start to get down, we focus on our goal and say, hey, this is what are we working towards, so let's work towards it now. Yes, like just like she said, we focus. This in-season is a really great start to what's to come. We want that state championship. We want to make it far in playoffs. And just setting that high standard and making sure we don't act like we're the best on the court really helps us with that. Final question to the both of you two, and it was a special night. It was volley for a cure, and it's always a fun night when these are these are occurring too. Uh, how important is it to you guys that Archbishop Hoban High School is one that participates in an event like this and trying to give it back to the community and raise awareness for breast cancer? I think it's really special because um, it really helps those people who are struggling with that or going through that, like helps include them. It helps raise money for them, which is really important to us. And Hoban is really family atmosphere, so we want to include everyone, especially those. And you can also see, like, when we hand out those roses tonight, a lot of people are experiencing things that we may not know. So it's nice to acknowledge them and help them to see that they are loved and that they deserve a little recognition. As the Archbishop Hoban Knights given recognition, they deserve a little recognition as well. 14-0 and on the season, and they got some big goals in mind as they continue their trek this Wednesday going to Louisville.